Hi, everyone. Um, <laughs> this is not only my first time on the open stage, but it's also the first time I have ever shared publicly any of my poetry. <laughs> and this poem in particular really needs a preface, or y'all would think that I'm just bananas. So, and I actually wrote a whole preface, and then I changed my mind about it. But the moral of... Oh, thank you. The moral of this poem, though, is never judge the people you come across because you never know what happened to them yesterday or what their life was two weeks ago. You know, your words could say someone's life in some instances, and this poem kind of reflects that. And I'm very nervous, so please cheer. <laughs> One cold, dark night, he and I got in a fight. No matter what I tried to say, no words could possibly be right. How do you answer a question of what you did that was wrong? I had no clue. I said without hesitation, but it was too late. His trust in me was gone. I cried and begged, asking over and over what it was that I had done. He cringed when I tried to touch him. Yes, it was too late. I was shunned. Grief and despair quickly turned to rage. I began to scream and slam doors. My anger swelled, it rattled my cage. I pounded my fists, and then I slumped to the floor. Quickly mercurial, my mood continued to shift. Anger and, ra anger and rage, tears and despair. How could I answer? What if, what if? No possible solution could be fair. After he violated my emotions, he violated my body. His skin screamed lies as it pressed against mine. This possessive, controlling, paranoid hottie took one last stab, one last jab, and I would never again be fine. Somehow I slept after I wept. I awoke and went to work the next day. Little did I know that I was only being kept until he could throw me away. He not only left me a mess, emotionally wrecked, hurt, and lost, I was then also homeless. I uprooted my whole life for him, and this was the cost. Handfuls of pills chased with a bottle. I am done playing the game. I hope you're happy with what you've caused, because I'll never be the same. And I really hope you enjoy this kind of fame. <laughs>